All right, welcome to your first exercise of your 30 and 30 challenge. Go ahead and get started because the timer has begun. We are doing step touches. This is our first exercise, probably the easiest exercise you'll do in this challenge. Great, simple way to work to warm up for the rest of your challenge. Although today, this is your challenge, is just to do this. So you can see how many places you can go with this, depending on where you are, how warm your body feels. You can make it really big, you can make it smaller. Um, essentially, the first few exercises we're doing in this challenge are gonna be warm up. So just find a rhythm, do whatever you want with your arms. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can put them on your hips, whatever you're feeling right now. Good, we're just about done with your first minute of your 30 and 30 challenge. So, just four, three, two, one. Great job. All right, welcome to exercise two of your 30 and 30 challenge. This is a lot like your step touch, the first exercise, except now we're taking it to the side and we're adding an arm. This is going to increase your intensity. So again, you have options. If the arms are too much, you can just keep them down and just do this. Or you can go deeper. That will actually increase the intensity of your exercise. The more muscle fibers you involve, the harder it is. And of course, adding your arms will increase the intensity of any exercise. So you should feel yourself breathing a little bit harder. Good. You just have five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Let's move on. All right, welcome to your third exercise. Now we've taken our step touch to our low impact jumping jack. Now we've added on uh, both arms. So I call these like rainbow arms, like you're drawing a circle. Now this is gonna add even more intensity to the exercise. So again, I'm gonna show you slowing it down right there. You can make this a little bit easier. I'm going pretty fast. So depending on where you are in your fitness, you might be going slower, you might be going faster, whatever you need for your body. So just 15 seconds, so you should feel the intensity rising. And again, you can also go deeper. Good, we have three, two, one. All right, great job. Let's move on. All right, welcome to your fourth exercise. We're doing squats. All right, so I'm starting kind of a low level here. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can kind of see. I'm doing a little bit fast, but the butt needs to go behind you. All right, so now I'm gonna add some arms. I'm gonna give you some options on this so that the next time you do this, you can just jump right in with the version that you want, okay? Now here's an even bigger version. On the toes, really pushing. You're kind of pushing with your feet, pulling with your arms. Now this will really get your heart rate up. Okay, you can even jump if you want. So, lots of places to go. You have just a few seconds, or you can just be here, wherever you need to be. You have three, two, one, great job. Let's move on. All right. Welcome to your fifth exercise in your 30 and 30 challenge. This is like a straight leg march in a way. Okay, so here, what you wanna do is try not to bend at your waist or your back. Try to bring your leg up and your hand down without moving anything else. A lot of this depends on flexibility. So if you're not real flexible, you may need to just keep your kicks low. 
if you're real flexible, you can go as high as you want. But this should get your heart rate up and you can get a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Now, you can keep your arms down if this is too much or you can go faster if you wanna get your heart rate up. Just 10 seconds. So you pick whatever you wanna do in that minute. Good, you just have four, three, two, one. Great job, let's move on. All right, welcome to your sixth exercise in your 30 and 30 challenge. We have a real challenge today. Go ahead and do your step touch because we are now moving into low impact jumping jacks. We're actually putting together all of the exercises that we've done. All right, remember your rainbow orange? Good. We're just gonna go through and do everything that we've done. Just do one more each side. All right, remember your squats. Good. Remember your options. You can jump if you want. Perfect. All right, do two more squats. What's next? Your marches. You just have 10 seconds to go. Now the fun thing about that is that it kind of makes the minute go a little bit faster when you mix it up. So we'll be doing that a little bit. It's your last one. Great job. Let's move on. All right. Welcome to your seventh exercise in your 30 and 30 challenge. We're going to be doing push-ups into a downward dog. Okay, so I'm about to show you lots of options here. So here's the beginner. It's just a push-up maybe to a child's pose. You're on your hands and knees, and you're pushing back. Okay, this is if you're a beginner. If you're more advanced, you can come forward and still do a child's pose, or you can go up into a downward dog, okay? So that's kind of your medium option. Now, your more advanced is a full push-up to a downward dog. Full push-up. Now, once you get your option, you can go faster than this, or you can even change between options. Good. You just have one more. Good. Nice job. Let's move on. All right, welcome to your eighth exercise. You're still in your push-up position. We're going to go into mountain climbers, and I'm gonna add on to this. So, you're here. Now, if you're a beginner, you may wanna just do a few mountain climbers and then come down and rest. Do a couple, come down and rest. Now, more advanced, we're gonna do four mountain climbers. Then you're gonna walk in and stand up. Down, walk out, four, three, two, one, walk in, stand up. Now, you can see if you're advanced where you can go with this. You can jump and stand up. So down, jump back. One, two, three, four, in. So it adds a burpee. But remember, you can work your way up to that. You can just start with the mountain climbers. And like I said, rest. Now everybody rest because you finished your minute. Great job, let's move on. All right, welcome to your ninth exercise in your 30 and 30 challenge. Now, I'm doing a front and a rear lunge, okay? So I want you to go as deep as you can in these lunges. We are gonna switch legs in just a few seconds and I'm gonna show you some modifications. You don't have to tap in the middle if your balance is good. Okay, other leg, front. Now these are, to slow it down, you can keep your lunges shallow. For some people, these bother your knees. If this does bother you, you might wanna go back to another exercise that we've done. You can do squats, you can do the step touches, any of the exercises that we've done previously. Good, so you should feel this in your legs. This is your last one. Great job, let's move on. All right, welcome to the next exercise 
in your 30 and 30 challenge. Now, we're doing a big squat with a big knee. I'm gonna add some arms. So here, it's all about the bigness of the move. Go as deep as you can, lift the knee as high as you can, take the arms as big as you can. It's almost like you're making giant steps. Now you can speed this up and you'll really feel your heart rate coming up. Now here's the modification. You don't have to squat, that hurts your knees. If you do this, your heart rate will come up. It just depends on where your body is. Good, we have 10 seconds. See if you can speed it up just a little. You have four, three, two, one. Great job, let's move on. All right, welcome to your next exercise in your 30 and 30 challenge. All right, your heart rate may be up from that last exercise. So you have a choice. You can take this slow and really focus on your obliques right here, or you can go fast and make it more cardio. Just depends on how you feel. I kind of like the little bit of a rest. You just have a couple more, and then we're gonna do this on the other side. Now, remember the different ways you can modify things. You can go slow, you can keep your arm out of it, just bring your knee up as high as you can. You know, similarly, you've got your more advanced options. Either way, whichever you choose, really focus on it. Good, this is a nice core exercise. You just have five seconds, two, last one. Great job, let's move on. Okay, this is your 12th exercise and I'm putting together all of the exercises that we just did, except this time we're gonna go backwards. So I hope you're following me. You're starting with your side knee bends. Just do a couple more of those. All right, now remember our squat with your knee. So moving down the chain, our next exercise, after you do two more on each side, one, two, are your front and rear lunges. Nice, so this minute is gonna go nice and fast. Good, other side, front and back. Front, back, front, back. Now remember your mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, and you're either jumping in or stepping. Do one more set of mountain climbers. Good, now just give me four push-ups to your downward dog. Two, back, three, back, and four, and back. Great job, let's move on. All right, are you ready for your next exercise and your 30 and 30 challenge? This is gonna be a tricep dip. We're just gonna do a few dips, and then we're gonna go into a tabletop position, which kind of stretches your shoulders. Now this move will not work for everyone. If you have any kind of wrist problems, good stretch up, you might wanna put a rolled up towel underneath your hands or you can elevate your body on um, a chair. You could also just substitute a different exercise. Good, and stretch up. And then the tabletop exercise may not be great for every set of shoulders out there. So use your best judgment. You can always go back to one of the exercises that we've done and substitute. Good, you should be feeling this. Stretch up. Good, we just have one more set. Good, stretch up, come down. Great job, let's move on. All right, are you ready for your next exercise in the 30 and 30 challenge? It is a side bridge. Starting off with a hip lift, this is a modification. You can have your hand down here for support if you need it, or this is harder, this is harder, this is one option, or you can do a hip drop with your feet staggered. All right, so whatever version you're doing, do a couple more, then we're gonna switch to the other side really quickly, 
and I'm going to show you some more options. So from that staggered stance, you can stack your feet and do a hip drop. Okay, that's harder than when your feet are staggered. Now you can also do a leg lift. You can also lift your arm. This is the hardest one. So pick your version, kind of like this one. You just got a few seconds. This is a great core exercise. You have one more. Good. Great job. Let's move on. All right, welcome to your next exercise. Now this exercise is a pop squat, but I'm starting off with level one. So you're on your hands and knees, and then you're stepping forward with one foot. Now what you can do here, depending on your flexibility and your clearance, is you can actually take your foot way out to the side if you need to. Um, here's the next level. You're on your toes and you're stepping your feet in. So this is another option. Now, the next level, jumping in and back, in and back. And if you stay here, whatever you choose, you want to go, you know, at a quicker speed if you want to get your heart rate up. All right, last level, you're here, down, in, up. So this is a little quicker, a lot more intense. Good, just give me one more, whichever one you chose. Perfect. Great job, let's move on. All right, welcome to your next exercise. Now this is a sumo squat. So here's level one, you're just stepping out to the side. All right, level two, you've got like a little pop in the middle, it doesn't have to be a jump. Level three, you add the arms. Okay, so it's really just like a side squat. But the arms really add the intensity. And the depth and the speed. So you can go faster. And you can go deeper into your squat each time. And that'll really get the heart rate up. Good, you're almost there. Whichever one you choose, work as hard as you can. Remember that you can change levels throughout the exercise. Good, just five, four, three, two, one. Great job, let's move on. All right, welcome to your next exercise. This one is going to be, obviously, knee lift. So here are your options. We're gonna do one side for 30 seconds and then the other side. So here you can start with just a step or you can just do a knee. You can add the arms. You can make it slow. You can add speed. This is where you're gonna increase the intensity. So just do a couple more and then we're gonna stop and go to the other side. Okay, so remember your options. You're here and depending on how you feel after that last exercise, you might want to go faster, you might want to keep your heart rate up, or you might want to go slower. Good. Whichever one you pick, try to work as hard as you can. You can make this movement really big, really fast if you want. Because you just have five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Great job. Let's move on. All right, welcome to our mix and match. Okay, so we're starting with our pop squats. Okay, so wherever you are, pick it, do it. We're only gonna do a few seconds. So, after we do this, we're gonna go into our sumo squat. So just give me one more. Good, now stand up from wherever you were, and now we're here, or you're here. Whatever you did before, try to do it again this time. Try to do it faster if you can. You know your heart rate is probably up from the last exercise. Good. How about one more? Good, now let's go into our knees. This is your last exercise. So, make it good. Just do one more. Stop. We like to stop in the middle. I'm not real coordinated. Good. You just have a couple seconds 
Make it really good. Two, one. Great job. Let's move on. All right, welcome to your next exercise. Now, if your heart rate's up a little bit, you may need a few seconds to march in place or something before you come down to the floor. We are doing tricep push-ups. So I'm starting with level one. Your hands are right under your shoulders. So these are not like regular push-ups where your hands are wide. These are harder because your triceps are much smaller than your chest. So that's why you want to start easy here. Here's the next level is you're here. And then your next level, you can be on your toes. Ugh, I can probably do maybe a couple that way. These are really hard. All right, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have you come down and do one, two, three, and then press back. And then one, two, three, press back. Good, so you get a little break in there. These are really hard. So you should really feel these in your triceps. Good. This is your last one. You may need to work your way up to these. Great job. Let's move on. All right, welcome to your next exercise. You're coming up from the floor from your push-ups. Now we're getting the heart rate up again. Okay, we are doing puddle jumpers. So here's level one. You're just wide stepping. Level two, you're making it really big and low to the ground. Level three, arms. So I'm trying to go as wide as my mat. And I'm actually trying to do this without jumping. And you can add a jump, it's almost harder when you just try to step really wide. All right, here's level three. Big arms, big step to the side, big arms. So you can see how you can make this more cardio or less, depending on how you feel, fitness level, what's going on with you today. You just have a few seconds. Three, two, one. Great job. Let's move on. All right, welcome to your next exercise. We're going into a lunge kick. This is eventually what we're going for. Okay, but you can start here and you can just step. You can here, step, kick. Step, together, kick. You can do your lunge, step, kick. So it really just depends on your balance, how often you've done this exercise, how you're feeling today. This is your last one. All right, now I'm going to switch sides. I'm going to show you, so another way you can add intensity is to go deeper into your lunge and to add arms. Good. Now you can even go faster if you want. If you want to make it harder, if you feel like you want to work harder, you can go as fast as you want safely. Good. I kind of like this speed. And again, the arms will add intensity. You just have one more. Perfect. Great job, let's move on. All right, welcome to your next exercise. This is a one-legged deadlift. I'm starting out level one. Okay, you have one foot behind you, the front leg is straight, and there's a slight bend in the knee, if you need. Um, you're bending at the waist. Okay, there's no rounding, your shoulders are back. All right, here's level two. You're coming up and down. Up. Down, lots of balance. I can feel myself wanting to fall over. Good. And we're going to switch to the other side and I'm going to show you how you can make this harder. Now you can add arms. I can tell I'm on my good leg now because I'm not falling over as much. Okay. You can also add a knee. You're here and a knee. You can also add an extension right there. So wherever you go, Work as hard as you can. Remember, this is your where you start. Just give me one more. Good, that's perfect. Great job, let's move on. All right, welcome to your next mix and match. Right now we're gonna do puddle jumpers and then our lunge kicks. So whichever one you did before, 
your puddle jumpers. Remember your options. You've got your one arm. You've got both arms. Pick your poison. Go for it. We're only going to do half our minute with this, and then we're going to do our lunge kicks. Good. So just give me one more each side. All right, now turn right into your lunge kick. I'm going to add my arms this time. I'm feeling warm. But again, remember your options. You don't want to lunge. You don't have to. You have one more. Good. Because a step can be just as effective if you get that kick in. Perfect. We're almost there. Kind of speeds things up when you do more than one exercise. How about one more kick? Great job. Let's move on. All right, believe it or not, this is our last cardio. So here's where you start. It's just a step squat out to the side. And we really only have two options here. This is the second option. So you're really just doing like a quarter turn jump. Now, if you are on a hardwood floor or you can pivot, you can actually pivot that foot back. I'll show you on the other side. All right. That's your last one. All right, so you're here. I think I just changed my arms. So stay here, or if you can pivot it back, you can do that. I'm on a mat, so my foot won't slide, and I don't want to hurt my knee. So I am not going to pivot. But if you can turn that foot, you don't need to jump at all. If you can do it, try to go for it, because this is it. After this, we're doing core and stretch. That was your last one. Great job. Let's move on. 